Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Green Zero here, and that's right, this is the announcement. Frontline is coming back. You guys wanted it. It's one of the most hardest or most difficult series to make, and I really felt that I want to go back in and make it, and we're going to have a special uh, launch VOD, obviously, for that new series of Frontline that's coming out. I've been gathering footage. We're going to have archive games and brand new games, so you guys really wanted to see it back. I really wanted to make it again. Again, it's a very difficult series to make just because it involves a lot of concentration, but here's some obviously some clips there and some other screenshots we've used in the past. But stay tuned to my channel. Frontline is coming back as well as a new revamp of my channel. So stay tuned for that. Here comes the game. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Green Zero here with another Commander Kong 3 Kane's Wrath video commentary. That's right, we are back here once again to see some more Kane's Wrath 2v2 action. Why? Because I can. That's right, I hope you all enjoy the videos on my channel. New stuff coming up, of course, keeping everything going. And of course, uh, still continuing to play Kane's Wrath uh, quite a lot these days. So I'll have to see how that goes. But anyway, we have this 2v2 here on the replay system. And it's going to be Camus Sizzler and Tipsy versus Death Sentence and Super Duper Dover. Is that right? Camus Sizzler? Cam this can't be right. This isn't unsound. Is Camus Sizzler lost? No, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that's the actual Camus Sizzler. Okay, I'm not sure. Uh, it was only rumoured that he'd, he'd played another map before. He's normally like 100% unsound, but uh, we're going to jump into this game because apparently he's in this game. I don't think he's been featured before. I'm pretty sure all the rest of these players have been. Uh, even Tipsy, I think. So Tipsy uh, is going to be... Uh, let's have a look here. So we've got the yellow nod, which is Camus Sizzler, which is this guy here. So there he is. There you go. Again, not unsound investment. We're on uh, tournament... Oh, jeez, what is this? Forgotten Forest. Oh man, <laughs> this map, and of course we have Tipsy playing as Steel Talons, the front player usually gets both the spikes, which is exactly what he's doing. On the other side, we have playing as the Screen Faction, it's Super Duper Nova, it is Super Duper Nova, and if we move over here, it is him, the one, the only, it's Death Penalty, that's right, Death Sentence is here, and he'll be playing as a Nod Faction. Oh no, it's Traveller 59 here. It's Traveller 59 for Super Duper Nova, and it's going to probably be Black here. No, it's going to be Mock or Nod here for Death Penalty, so he is going to have some units. There. What's happening over there? Buzz is trying to overwhelm the infantry squads. Not going to happen. Tipsy's like, I know you're going to try to cut off my engineer. Not going to happen. He does lose a squad for it, but that's fine. Does he lose a squad up here? Oh, Buzz is trying to sneak around there as well. It's very nasty, isn't he? But he is going to be able to stop that. Uh, Canvas is a Nod, so Nod Steel Talons on the left-hand side, and Traveller 59 and what do we got here? Marked of Kane. So there we go. Um, have these guys coming out. Death Sentence goes for a scout as well. Surprising considering his ally is actually going for the fast leg distance. Going straight down the guts because there's no scouts here. They know there's no scouts here. These scouts will find them. We expect a beacon momentarily. There we go. Beaconing straight away. He's like, hey look, get ready for this. They're going to have plenty of time. They're not going to get jumped by this. And I think, yeah, the towers are being queued. The towers are real. Surprisingly, Camus Sizzler does not have a Shredder turret queued for his ally. Uh, that could be dangerous. And he drops the tower down straight away just so he can get a second one. Well, he's not even queuing a second one. And he sells. Uh, hang on, guys. Are you going to do anything to stop these buzzers coming in? This is a little bit hairy at the moment. He's got a Wolverine, which is not a really good idea because it's just going to get a, a ruffle overwhelmed straight away. And here we go. Harvesters will be lost. I'm not sure how this is possible. But uh, they saw that coming so far in advance and they did really nothing about it. Camus does drop down a Shredder Turret, and somehow they managed to salvage that, so only losing one Harvester, which is so lucky. That is so lucky as well, and uh, Camus is now expanding. He's got four Harvesters, fifth Harvester probably coming out. Yeah, there we go, five and two. But the Steel Talons player, Tipsy, he's on just two Harvesters. Uh, did not handle that rush too well at all, and some of the rush is still actually alive as well, so Super Duper Nova has better economy than the Steel Talons player. Death penalty, a little bit behind just because he went for a buggy first. He has expanded. He is down there. Wow, he's really down there, isn't he? And it uh, looks like uh, Camus is a following suit. Battle markers up there. Nothing serious. It's just the scouts coming through. Wolverine did survive, so it's still alive. If we go back down here and have a look at what Death Sentence is doing. He's putting his, uh, his structure here so that he can place buildings on the opposite side of the field. And uh, what, they, what people will usually do now is they'll place one ref here and one ref here so the one clicks are just it become pretty useless on this level, they just can't do the damage. Uh, but we have, which is very smart by the way, we have a Harvester going straight for the blue tib, so Death Penalty is using all this confusion and diversion to get some blue tib. Uh, this will work, there are some bikes down here, so actually maybe it won't work. Death better have something to come and defend this Harvester. No, he's got to move off the line. He didn't even really get any blue Tiberium, which is not going to be worth it, especially if he loses the Harvester. So Camus Scissors like, hang on a second, you're going to take blue tib. And there's really nothing here for Death Sentences. A Lightning Spike comes down by his ally, 
but it's not going to be enough. Ember Blast misses its mark, and these bikes grab the kill. We'll get out of there. They might lose one, maybe even another bike. He does get a few bikes on the way out, but uh, damage is done. That's a Harvester down, and uh, we have Camus Sizzler now moving down here to his expansion. Uh, what you can do, if you're going to go for Blue Tib, you go from here to the Blue Tib field, then you go back to the expansion. Very short travel time back to the expansion, so it makes the Blue Tib very well worth it on that first trip, but uh, Death Penalty not going to be too happy. Looks like Camus Sizzler will be taking that building, just to keep eyes on this field, just to see if anything's coming back, although he's against Stealth Harvesters, so it's probably not going to happen. Scattered Infantry tanks here from Death Sentence coming in. Uh, there's only bikes to defend this, but they do have a war factory. There's some buggies coming out now as well, so Death Sentence, this is really just a small defensive force for any Harvesters that may come. A lot of Rocket Squads actually coming out, and he's still going to try to go for the blue. Two Harvesters come down. Did he pull those from the main? Wow. He left just three Harvesters on his main field, so he's pulling two to the blue tip. He's really trying to eco hard. He has one ref down, but he's taken the far side ref. You would have thought he'd taken this side here. His ally has not even expanded. He could be going for a fast tech. Uh, no, apparently he's going for Ravages. Okay, so he thinks he's going to go for Ravages here. There's a beacon down by Tipsy, so he knows that they're there. Uh, these are the fastest infantry units in the game, by the way. Uh, you won't see much uh, units faster than Ravages. Look how fast they are, man. They are just hauling across the map, and they just insta-snipe down that squad because, you know, they, they do, like, enormous damage versus infantry. Meanwhile, Death Penalty will be taking almost all of the blue tip. He's defending this area well. Battle Marker's over here. It's just a sold-off refinery. The, uh, the, the Ravagers are actually getting around the Wolverines, which is not really what he wants to see happen. A Hammerhead comes down, and that's going to shut these guys down. They use Tib, uh, what do you call it, agitation. They don't get, oh, they should get the refinery and the harvester kill, but uh, was that worth it? Probably not. The problem with these Ravagers is that they die to gun damage. They literally evaporate. You don't even have to shoot at them. You just have to point your guns at them, and they kind of just die. Uh, and there's actually a battle down here as well. So it looks like Death Penalty got a little bit antsy and decided to move into this area here. A lot of buggies kill all of his infantry, and then he decides, hey, I'm not just going to leave my tanks here. I'm going to pull back. That's going to be fine. And there's more Ravagers. There are more Ravagers. They see them. But uh, unfortunately, there's buggies here, and they're just going to run straight through them. And uh, yeah, Super Duper Nova, obviously trying to use these guys. He uses Tiberium Agitation. Will he get the refinery? He does not get the refinery. He may still be able to get it. He's trying to shoot at it. Uh, the Ravagers will do decent damage. But uh, the problem is, again, you just, yeah, you basically look at them funny and they, they die. So <laughs> I think that's the problem with, uh, 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 oh, it's actually an attack over here. There's a lot of APMO Wolverines. We'll talk about the Ravagers in one moment. But uh, Super Duper Nova does not have a lot to defend this. There is an Obelisk coming down from Death Sentence. So he'll push them back. He has Dozer Blade Scorps as well. But there's an attack moving down here. Camus Sizzler has a pretty big force. There's a Harvester there. I don't think he spots it. It re so I'm not sure if he actually saw that one. And now uh, we have Death Penalty going for the Redeemer. But it is under attack. Meanwhile, these guys here are fighting. He's losing these Scorpion Tanks. They need to move back. They're under a lot of pressure. Supernova and Death Sentence in, in a world of pain. I think those Ravagers really set them behind. They just didn't do a lot of damage. Now Camus Sizzler is attacking in the south. And we have uh, Tipsy attacking in the north. Gunwalk is fighting Wolverines. It's not a good idea because there's way too many Wolverines. And Camus Sizzler does break this area and he's into the harvesting lines. There's not a lot to stop him. He does put down the, the, uh, the Temporal Wormhole and he does have supercharged Particle Beams so he might be looking to spam out some of these Shredder Turrets. He kind of needs two MCVs to really do that. He does have two MCVs. A Storm Column is down. Camus Sizzler decides just to hold back. There's way too many base defenses here now. He could probably go and get some Harvester Kills but uh, the price he'd have to pay would be quite high. And even this Harvester, full of blue Tiberium, he should try to snipe that down, but he doesn't have any stealth detection. Uh, there's one bike there, but it backs off, and he will hold this up here. Tipsy, meanwhile, still has a lot of his Wolverines that are moving back across here. And again, he's just going to put down Shredder Turrets because, you know, they don't do a lot of damage. they got a Supercharged Particle Beam, but they will wear down Wolverines. Yeah, pretty nice. There's two turrets there, or two, two sets of turrets. Kill that Wolverine pretty quickly. But uh, yeah, let's go back to those Ravagers, okay? There's, uh, someone asked me the other day, what would I fix in the, in the game? If there's one thing I could change in the meta game in Kainsworth, what would, I, what would it be? And I'd be, straight away, it would be Heavy Infantry. Heavy Infantry just aren't yeah, practical enough. Like Zone Raiders and Zone Troopers that aren't garrisoned are pretty easy to kill. You know, they're expensive, they're powerful, but uh, they, they just die too easily. They need better gun resistance, I think. Shock Troopers need it as well. They need better gun resistance. Ravagers, I'm not sure if they count them as heavy infantry. Uh, I guess you would, just like Enlightened as well, a heavy infantry. Heavy infantry shouldn't be able to be crushed by anything but tier 3 or tier 4 armor. Uh, no tank crushing. And uh, harvest getting cleaned up. 
and I just feel that they need more resistance versus gun damage because at the moment they're being countered by very small amounts of gun damage and we're gonna have a tip vein there Camusizzler is not going to be liking that. A lot of his army getting shredded there. It doesn't matter if you get outside of the animation. If you're in the animation when it starts, it will always do damage, which is something they could change as well. There's a few seconds to actually get out of the way of the Tib Vane. And if they did that, I think Tib Vane would be a little bit more uh, uh, well-balanced because at the moment, you know, it's, it's kind of like, yeah, let's just take out a whole army kind of thing. Storm Column comes down. That's really not going to do too much. There's way too much here. Steel Talents. He does have the adaptive armor as well, so uh, looks like Death Zone's in a little bit of trouble here. His uh, MCV is being attacked. He does not have anything queued, and there's aircraft here as well. Uh, this is not good. There is a portal down here. I'm not sure what he's trying to build. He just pulls his hammerheads back a little bit. He's going to lose. He's going to lose. He actually repairs it. Clutch repair. The hammerheads did not target it down, and now he's trying to target this down, and all of a sudden, the Steel Towns player does not have the DPS to really work this construction yard down. He's trying to get it down. Building blocks it. This is not good. He's going to have to back off. And oh man, look at all the base defenses now. Storm Column comes down again. And that Steel Talons army gets pretty much shredded there. It looked really good for them. If they killed, if they just killed that Assimilator, they would have been fine. They could have destroyed this area. Uh, Death Tenant surprisingly has a bunch of avatars over here. So he is actually moving with some units. But look at this. Laser Capacitor and Redeemer and more of his own avatars are coming out. And uh, Camo Sizzler is going to be perfectly fine. Supp playing surprisingly well considering uh, he's normally uh, just unsound only kind of guy. But the Steel Talons player now has rail guns and adaptive armor. And there's four mammoth tanks here. He could bring some behemoth along for the show. And he could just camp this field and just shell him from afar. And when he comes forward to attack, the mammies just clean up. The, the Wolverines could just get behind the mammoths right now. They don't need to be out in front getting shot at. Because if, if uh, disintegrators rock up, those Wolverines are going to be needed. Uh, it's just all about positioning your units here. These guys are going to set up operations down here. We have a battle starting to open up over here, but these harvesters are getting shot at as well. And uh, Death Pill having to pull those back. Oh, EMP Blast goes down. That's unfortunate because they have adaptive armor, but you have to manually activate it. Rage Gen does go off. It's not going to do too much damage. Death is firing at his own units over there. But uh, he does put the adaptive armor on now, and that is going to prevent these guys from being empty. He's destroying all the tripods. Oh, cultists! Cultist, oh no, that's not what the Steel Towns player wants to see. There's a hammerhead there. The hammerhead's like, I got you covered, buddy. He does actually kill it, but it doesn't matter. The, ha the, uh, the mammoth tank is down. Three mammies still remain here. They will completely annihilate these tripods and these gunwalkers, but they can't do anything about those cultists. The hammerheads are going to be needed, and they are backing off now. These guys here could quickly just jump forward and, and snipe that tripod. Those mammoth tanks, the damage output is just way too high. And Colder Squad coming forward now. Where are the hammerheads? Here are the hammerheads. Are any going to survive? There's a Venom there as well. He does kill the squad, which is all that matters. And the hammerhead's going to try to escape. These uh, mammoth tanks may be able to kill the Venom. And he does actually kill the Venom. The hammerhead just manages to survive. What's happening down here? Looks like Camus Sizzler is moving in from the north. Stealth tanks with the main army. Okay, bro, whatever you want to do, buddy. But it is actually surprisingly working here, I guess, because he's got a lot of mixed units here. The Steel Talents player is still pushing over there. Hammerheads just to guard these four mammies over there as well. And now he's firing EMP into these units, but most of it's infantry, so it's not doing a terrible amount of damage. But uh, yeah, Death Center is on the back foot now. He's being pressured pretty heavily. We have the area mind control coming down. He gets back his mammoth tank. The hammerheads need to get outside the range of the double A. This base is under a lot of pressure now. We have double front here. The mammies moving forward, trying to crush those units, not getting the crush off. They will be focusing down the storm column now. Camus Sizzler has his Redeemer here, and he's got mixed infantry. He's got full upgrades on his infantry. He's got laser capacitor, and we have Death Sentence here with his own Redeemer. The Mammies now are starting to waste these buildings, and there is a Venom there. The, hammer hit, the Mammoth tanks need to quickly just destroy that, uh, that Venom. They're not firing their missile pods at it. They take a little while to reload. We got a Veteran Mammy down there as well. He needs to hurry up and finish that off because Disintegrator squads are coming, and uh, he's not actually building any more cultists. Maybe a little bit too worried about the Hammerhead. Uh, spam of here. Camus Sizzler's armor ha army has been reduced, so he hasn't got much left. He does have EMP coils, and he gets the EMP down on the Redeemer. Is this going to be enough to destroy it? I think it may be enough. He phases. He phases. So that Redeemer now, we can leave that fire. He's not going to be able to kill that. These four mammies still pushing forward. They take out all the double A. There's a storm column there now, but he needs to put the adaptive armor on. Only the front unit would have been necessary, but it's going to allow that unit to survive quite a long time. There's a hammerhead here. He's probably not going to be able to save the front mammy tank, but uh, he's going to be able to save the rest of them. And these mammoth tanks doing so much damage. The veteran one is still there. He could even get a rig down here. Uh, that would be great. EMP blast coming down from both sides now. So it looks like death sentence. He's still phased. But uh, Camus Sizzler is still here, still putting the amp down, misses the amp that time. It's not really necessary to amp this because the phase 
uh, will not wear off while it is under EMP. It will count down, but it will not wear off. Disintegrator Squad's coming in here. The Redeemer might want to just turn around, beaconing up here as well. We have Coldus coming in. The Hammerheads will be able to kill that. Oh, EMP Blast comes down. Can't get the Adaptive Armor on in time. That one Hammerhead. There's two Wolves here as well. They do take out that Refinery. And Death Sentence having a world of pain here, trying to get economy down same with supernova he really doesn't have too much of course both guys did end up sharing this field but we have this temporal wormhole coming down now more uh plasma missile batteries coming down the coldest are running forward the coldest are real and uh oh he gets the hammerheads the wolverines can't respond they're running forward now emp blast coming off oh no the mammies get stolen is that the veteran one or the veteran one must have been destroyed and unfortunately he has finally fallen victim to these coldest squads to the point where he cannot save these two Mammy tanks, that's unfortunate. Camus is moving forward. His Redeemer is almost dead. Did Death Sentence lose his? Yes. I think we can safely say that Death Sentence Redeemer is likely dead unless it got teleported. No, we can't see that anywhere. It's definitely gone. Uh, Camus is, I think, needs to make a move for the middle field. He's already here. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, he's going back to get blue tip, but it's already gone. So he, he probably already leached it all. But he's got an army here. There's a lot of uh, mag mines on these these raider buggies. He might just want to pull them back to his war factory temporarily. Uh, what's happening over here? These mammoth tanks are actually moving into the base and killing these titans. Does he have a Texan? I'm not sure if he has a Texan because he's building titans to try to counter mammoth tanks. And unfortunately, that is not going to work out too well for him here. The titans can shoot over structures. But uh, the Mammoth Tanks, their armor is just way, way, way too heavy for them. I'm not sure if he realizes, you know, you can't actually crush... Mammoth tanks with tines. That doesn't work. Battle markers over here. Looks like Camus Sizzler decided to run in. He's trying to get the Redeemer Engineering Facility, but I don't think he's going to get these. Yeah, it's repairing faster than the Raider Buggies can destroy it. He might as well get the Raider Buggies out of there because right now they are just being destroyed. And unfortunately, Camus Sizzler not going to be choosing to do so. He still has his Redeemer getting some much needed repairs on that one. Meanwhile, this one Mammoth Tank. It's a veteran, I think, is just chasing these harvesters. They're all full of Tiberium, except for maybe one or two. But uh, that's going to be a lot of damage if they go down. And he's chasing them into the corner. This one Mammy Tang is trying to give chase, but he's not doing a very good job. He could target down that very heavily damaged one. He's going to get so many of these harvesters, and the only two that survive are the ones that are almost empty. Actually, now that one there may get away. Uh, battle markers raging over here. It's just infantry squads. Camus Sizzler setting up on the main field. That's a lot of Tiberium that he doesn't want to be giving to him. And this one Mammoth Tank will be firing at the, the rear arm of this other one. And of course, that's going to be good for him because he should be able to focus that down. The Rocket Pods should be able to finish off. Is he going to get a Harvest Kill? He gets one more Harvest Kill. Elite. He got that Mammoth Elite just before it went down. What's happening over here? Death Penalty. And uh, we have the Drone Platform here as well. Moving in. Obelisk, Obelisk go down. The Hexapod is here. EMP straight away. Camus is fighting this battle by himself right now. Uh, his ally Z Tipsy is nowhere to be found right now. He's got nothing here. Vertigo Bombers coming in, causing problems. The splash damage is real on these guys here. And Death Sentence has its own... He's got his own Redeemer here as well. There are units all over the place. The amount of unit combinations going here now. Rage Shed will go off. No EMP because they're Rage. That's unfortunate. This battle at the moment, it is very elongated here. He's trying to chase down Coldus. He does kill a fair few of them. A Vertigo Bomber's coming in. Still putting in more bombs onto this here. The damage is just stacking up. But Vertigo Bomber's here from... Is that actually, no, that looks like Death Sentence Vertigo Bomber's as well. He needs to get an EMP blast off. And there we go, he gets one. No, this is going to be a Vertigo Bomber from Camus Sizzle there, putting bombs uh, right down on top of Death Sentence now. He needs to get another EMP buggy in there. He needs to run in. He hasn't got another EMP follow-up. Phase goes down straight away, and now he needs to turn his attention to the Hexapod. EMP buggies immediately respond here. One of them should be able to put down an Imp Blast. He is going to blast it with an... Oh, oh man, rear armor as well. He does bomb the Corruptors. That is crazy. And the, the buggy is trying to go for the Prodigy here, and I'm not sure what that Imp Blast was for. He teleports in. What's he, what's he get? He gets the Behemoth. He gets shot down straight away there was like six towers there that was not a good decision from super duper nova and again rear armor emp there's no phase there is no phase for this unit he's already used it up does he have the dps to destroy the eradicate hexpod there is a behemoth there shelling it from a rear another emp blast comes up locking down the construction yard as well this battle is real look at all the base defenses in here there's a second behemoth now coming he needs to destroy this hexapod the damage oh the damage is pretty crazy it's so tight oh man it's just gonna get away mind drop comes in oh it gets shot down that is not what he wants to see it is not what he wants to see beacon over here what's happening it's uh mcv from canvas is coming back in it may have been captured at some point vertigo bombers need to go and bomb that they need to go and bomb it right now but it's recovering health and the cultists here now taking these struck taking these units and a behemoth does go down and he needs to try to stop these cultists from doing so much damage 
because right now they're killing so much. And Vertigo Bombers coming in, dropping bombs on top of those guys. Oh, the Camus Sizzler's MCV almost gets destroyed. Behemoth's going down. Vertigo Bombers dropping their load. I can't even tell whose Vertigo's are whose. There's really no color coordination because they're a stealth unit. And it's almost impossible to tell whose is whose at the moment. But Camus Sizzler just lost one. That was definitely his that went down. The Hexapod has regained about half of its health. It is now coming back. There's a lot of towers here, so that Prodigy is not going to be having a fun time. Stealth Tower goes down just to make things even more difficult here. Uh, for the attacking players who are now pushing this field. There's a lot of AP ammo. Storm Column comes down. Rage Gen goes off. There's Behemoths here. There's three of them. Vertigo Bombers coming in now, and they will be hitting that Redeemer EMP Blast. Now, these are stealth buggies because they're under the tower, and they will lock it down, and Camus Sizzler has to back out. He Rage Gens his own units. This should cause these guys to destroy the Redeemer. Death Penalty. It's going to lose his Redeemer. It goes down now. It goes down. One epic unit falls. No epic unit from the Steel Talents player, of course, but their Marv is pretty weak. It's just really, really more of a meat shield. And now EMP Buggy is moving forward. He should be able to lock this down. Camus Sizzler, his control has actually been quite nice here. And he does EMP, but he gets the buildings. He n nails all of those Corruptors. He nails all the Corruptors. The Vertigo Bomber does get shot down. The others will escape. Death Sentence comes in, and he flattens all these Behemoths. So his, his own Vertigo is now getting out of the battle there. But a lot of damage coming down on this Hexapod now. And he has to teleport back. He has to teleport back. He really has no choice at the moment. And these guys... Oh, no! Look at that damage. Oh, those husks. Those husks, that's unfortunate. Is there any artillery from these guys? I don't think there is. I think he's trying to get Devastators out. There's actually a oh, Spectre artillery there. That's what was doing the splash damage. Now trying to focus that down. And there's four Behemoths here. Uh, but they're all bunched up, so they're going to be targets for those Vertigo Bombers. Prodigy comes in. That was not a... No, here she gets away. No, he gets killed. He gets killed. He does get killed. Vertigo Bombers now flying across the top. There's Venoms here. A lot of damage coming down the Hexapod. He needs to get another volley off these Behemoths. They need to shoot at the Hexapod. They're not quite getting the damage they need. We can see the Vertigo Bombers coming in, and now it's going to be a field day on top of these Behemoths. Oh, no. And the Artillery coming in as well. The Vertigo Bombers now getting shot down because they got stuck in the Temporal Wormhole, and they're trying to retreat to the north here. A few of them will go down. Phase goes down on top of Camus Sizzler. No, not Camus Sizzler. Supernova's uh, uh, Hexapod. EMP Blast coming down, causing problems. Spectre Artillery running over, killing the Huss. There's three Huss. Oh, man, Tipsy, spread your dudes out, man. Spread your behemoths out. You're getting massacred. He needs to stop shooting at the Hexapod and start shooting at buildings. He should start focusing down the MCV now. He's got two behemoths here. He's starting to shoot them down. Camus Sizzler is bringing his own artillery to the show. He has two Spectre Artillery here, uh, assisting with his bombardment of this base. And they are about to get the MCV. Death Sentence loses MCV. MCV. There is, of course, a drone platform here. Both factions can build off that drone platform. And he's continuing to push an Emp. Here come the Vertigo Bombers. Are they going to target the Hexapod? They're actually going to try to target the Hexapod down. He should have waited for the phase to subside and then bombed. But the drone platform is under attack. Oh my god, Camus Sizzler and Tipsy are going to hold this. Look at all the artillery. We can't even see where it's coming from. Vertigo Bombers coming and smash this line here. Oh man, Spectre Artillery do go down here. Those Vertigo Bombers causing a lot of problems. Tipsy does kill the drone platform. The Hexapod was destroyed as well. There's so much action. I can literally not capture it all right now. We have a Mind Strike coming in. It's Mag Mines. It hits the Redeemer. But it's got a repair pad, which means they will not stick. They will not stick, and these guys clean this up. Oh man, Camus Sizzler and Tipsy hold the line. That fight just lasted literally forever. It just went, keep going and going and going, and uh, Supernova and Destinance are looking at each other now and going, well, what can we possibly do now? Uh, Supernova is repairing up some of these Corruptors, getting a Hex out, probably going for some Devastators, which would have been oh so nice in that engagement, but he just didn't have the funds Death Sentence, on the other hand, what do we have here? We've got Vertigo Bombers coming in. They will be targeting the Tech Center. It's not enough. It's not enough. He needs five Vertigo Bombers. They're just not as good as Firehawks at killing... Uh... Oh, geez, they're actually Death Sentence. And I've lost track of these guys again as well. There go the Vertigo Bombers. Two Behemoths. That was dangerous. I'm not sure why he decided to send those Behemoths out by themselves, especially with so many of these units around. I mean, Camus Sizzler might have to go for Venoms right now. If he had a half a dozen or a dozen Venoms, he could really provide the ultimate protection for these behemoths now, but there's just a single behemoth remaining. No, there's actually two, sorry. There are two behemoths remaining. Uh, the husks get destroyed. Oh, he is trying to focus down this, so Death Sentence may not be able to get his Redeemer back out because there is artillery firing on this base here, and the Redeemer, I think, should start trying to focus down the Redeemer Engineering Facility as well. The artillery is real. There's three Spectre Artillery. They're all spread out, which means Vertigo Bombers are going to have to strike them individually. The Vertigo Bombers are coming back, though, is it going to be a little bit too late? He does destroy the Reclamator Hub, and bam, bam, nice targeting there from Death Sentence, and even a spare bomb for the Redeemer. There you go, that's got his name on it right there, that bomb. But uh, the Redeemer Engineering Facility is down. Venoms are coming out, so there we go. Camus Sizzler is actually building Venoms. He's got laser Venoms, not, a, not as good as supercharged particle Venoms, but they will do the job here and cause uh, Death Sentence. Of course, we'll have to try to build his own to counter them. 
And again, getting chewed up a little bit on these double A defenses, not necessary. Uh, we'll actually be losing some units there. But oh man, Death Sentence now struggling to hold onto this base. He's building his own Venoms. They are coming in here now. They should be able to kill some of these artillery units. They might want to pull back to base. There's laser buggies coming though. These laser buggies will be trying to focus these guys down. Again, these Venoms aren't very good against laser buggies. And his own Venoms here as well will save the Spectre artillery. One Venom will be making a run for it. He might be able to get away. No, these Venoms chasing down. Vertigo Bombers coming in. That is a lot of damage onto that Redeemer. And those Vertigo Bombs causing so much problems for him. A Venom actually shoots one down, I think. Did he shoot one down? No, he didn't shoot one down. That's just me. Lots of aircraft going down. I can't even see who's. There's a lot of Behemoth here. There's Emp Buggies as well. The, oh, the Prodigy comes in. The Prodigy comes in. These, these Laser Buggies need to focus it, but they can't. He might just have to use EMP on these units now. And he does area mind control of these guys. The Corruptors are taking a lot of damage here. The Hexapod uh, will actually be backing off here. The Prodigy will get away. EMP Blast, do whiff. He needs to put the EMP down now. He does put the EMP down, and he does lock down all these units. And all the Corruptors are getting killed. Uh, a couple of these Behemoth going down. Vertigo Bombers rock up for the show. Oh, jeez, he dropped a little bit too many, too many... Uh, he dropped too many bombs on those ones then. He wasted a little bit, but uh, he's trying to do so much at the moment. And these guys here will get away. Spectre Artillery, he needs to get out of there. He needs to watch out. Bombs coming in now. They will be flying onto that Hexapod. All those Vertigos will get away. Uh, again, if you can't really destroy the Epic unit, you should just be targeting, like, Corruptors and other units that you can destroy and just weaken the enemy's force here. But uh, trying to reclaim these husks, not going to happen. These combat engineers are out in the, out in the, middle, of the, the middle of nowhere. They were making a run for it. They both get killed. A lot of artillery comes down on top of that hexapod now. And the EMP buggies are coming in, but no, he will teleport. These buggies should back off. They should back off. He's throwing these away. He's not going to be able to get that. He's running into this death pit now. And uh, he's trying to get the Prodigy. It's actually going to be pretty close now. He gets mind controlled. And Vertigo Bombers. Oh, man. Oh, you need to do something about those Vertigo Bombers. Low power for Tipsy. Low power Vertigo Bombers from uh, Camus Sizzle now moving out. And I wouldn't be surprised if Destinance Vertigos are just like ridiculously ranked. He's got an elite one and two veterans. No surprises. Oh no, is he going to lose them on the deck? Oh, Camus Sizzler. Camus Sizzler, the bombing is real. Oh no. Oh no, he just killed all the Vertigos from Destinance. And he immediately got a rank up on one of his own Vertigos. They are getting chased down. Can he get the kill on these ones here? I think he's going to get one. He does get one. But now he's flying into double A range of these units here. He's just going to suicide for a second one. No, he's, it's not going to happen. He's going to lose that. Oh man, death sentence will be absolutely face palming right now. And that happens. That happens to everybody. You're not watching your vertigos because you, you, you think they're reloading. And you can't see the enemy vertigos because they're stealth. So you think yours are safe. Oh man, maybe death sentence should have had a stealth tower down. Uh, against that because they're like he wasn't shooting them down it's, it's really how aircraft like that end up dying and there's another engagement here now supernova is against the wall we have area mind control coming off i think the prodigy went a little bit too far that time he went a little bit too far oh he's actually going to be able to survive the corrupter healing is real it is going to be able to save this oh he's going to teleport as well he gets away that is stupidly crazy ration goes off which means the buggies can't do too much although there's no saving that now and it does go down the hexapod was destroyed i couldn't even focus on everything that was happening here and now these guys are moving in the marv makes its first appearance here it has absolutely no garrisons he's like hey whatever i don't need garrisons emp comes down camus is an emp has been crippling this whole game i must have to, i have to hand it to him he has played brilliantly in this game not something you'd probably expect me to say about that player but Again, he takes down the, the Redeemer's down. Oh, watch out for the artillery shots. Those artillery shots, the Behemoth, they suck it up big time. That Mind Strike, though, ends that threat immediately. One Spectre remains. He's not even firing. He's just maintaining a stealth at the moment. And the Behemoth will be backing off. There's three remaining. They're pretty badly damaged. Beaconing like crazy. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's Devastator warships here. They take out the stealth. There's five of them. There's oh, no, Sorry, there's only four of them. But uh, that could have been deadly, but they've spotted them. Unfortunately, no traveler engines, which means they're very slow. Heroic buggy? I think so. And that could have been so much more damaging by uh, by Supernova if he chose a better area to engage because he could have one shot at pretty much any building he wanted and then just split his fire. Death Sentence now looking pretty crippled. There's two epic units in here now, a veteran Redeemer, and there is a Marv here as well. We have one artillery unit remaining. I believe that is from uh, Death Sentence. He has one artillery. It's, shoot it's trying to shoot at the Marv, but it can't hit a moving unit very well trying to focus down the tech center he will be bombing that and it will be going down it does go down i think he's already got his hex of what he does too i'm not sure if he has a prodigy out somewhere but uh supernova and death sentence are really against the wall now they need something to try to hold this back they have a decent amount of tib in their main they can really build an army off this he's trying to go for man spam he might want to actually go for the upgrade but it's mock man spam oh no the worst type of man spam and look at these guys now massing up a decent sized uh air support or 
or basically, yeah, that's what it is, air support. It's not like a massive air army, but it's nice support for them. The behemoths now are out by themselves. So again, Z-Tipsy really just like, hey, these are behemoths. They're built to work by themselves. I mean, they have more armor, but the water, he's got to watch out. The hexapod now teleporting in. He's trying to run them down. They're all running in the same direction, which isn't the greatest. And the end buggies will come in now, and he needs to get the imp off. Vertigo one was bombing them. They need to keep moving. Where's the EMP? He needs to send an EMP buggy in there. These guys are just trying to run so desperately run and there's the you can tell you can always tell which which buggy is going to do the emp -ing. the corruptors are there it's not going to matter there's too many behemoth and i think supernova and death sentence might be losing this game supernova has been defeated will death sentence follow suit here or will he try to fight until the end only time will tell we'll probably find out in a matter of seconds if he does decide to continue this fight i really don't think there's much hope for death sentence right now these behemoth all lining up but there's really no splash damage remaining at all. Hammerheads do get chewed up accidentally running into this attack force. This is a stealth redeemer and he's probably going to figure out it's stealth when he sees it. It's elite. It is elite. He needs to put the EMP down. EMP blasts come down now so he might actually be able to destroy this. He's got so many awakened squads he can just chain EMP it and Death Sentence has got the skill for it. Look at the chain EMP. Remember this is short term EMP. The EMP only EMPs for three seconds which means he needs to keep doing it. It's not like Raider Buggy EMP or Emp Grenade EMP. This actually doesn't emp for very long at all. But he's actually that is clutch EMP. He's destroying this and he's getting all the buggies as well. That is crazy. Vertigo Bombers coming over the top. They will be trying to blow up the infantry but Vertigo Bombers not exactly great against infantry and the rest of these forces go down. Death Sentence somehow is destroying all of this. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to get the heroic buggy that's in there but uh, he will actually get all the other buggies. There's actually Behemoth now rolling around. There's a lot of Behemoth here. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He could even put all these Rafflemen squads into the Behemoth just so the infantry can't rush up onto it. Beaconing over here as well. Hexapod is out by uh, Death Sentence. I'm not sure if that was the one that... Uh, no, that was definitely a new one because, yeah, uh, Supernova gave up when he lost his last one. So Behemoth now moving around. Uh, Death Sentence does hold this base, surprisingly, but now he's under attack over here. He needs to try to hold this attack off and then destroy the Behemoth army, and then maybe he'll be able to come back in this game. But unless that happens, I, I might have to I might have to call it here. Uh, but, I mean, it's, it could, could still happen. There's Vertigo Bombers remaining from Kama Sizzler. He's not rebuilding anymore. He's just keeping the three he's got. They are expensive. Looks like he's trying to rebuild the fourth one now. It's always good to have them in a group of four because Vertigo Bombers, I mean, Firehawks work good in a group of four. Vertigo Bombers work best in a group of two because... Most of, the, most of the units that they want to destroy will take two bombs to kill, and uh, they just work very well. I mean, Vertigo Bombers, they kill units. Firehawks, they kill buildings and aircraft. That's how it works. You don't use Vertigo Bombers to bomb buildings unless, you know, there's nothing else to bomb. Because they're not too bad against buildings. They're, they're all right, but they're not, not as good as Firehawks because they do cannon damage and, uh, and Firehawks do grenade damage. Vertigo Bombers now flying out. That's a lot of artillery to hit that hexapod, and half of its health is already gone. There's nothing gar oh, there's garrisons in there so yeah he's gonna be uh he's gonna be pushed back straight away and death sentence might just call it when he sees the army that he will be facing over here what is he trying to build he's got some man spam here he's got the hexapod he's trying to get aircraft he's trying to go for storm riders so hoping that somehow these storm riders will be able to help him win the game which might not be half bad i mean there's no venoms uh even if there was the the storm riders could probably defeat them uh, and there's no no real double A. I mean, aside from some random double A turrets left over from Tipsy, he probably doesn't even realize they're still here. But uh, Camera Sizzle now. There's actually some Tiberium over here they might want to grab. They're keeping their fields dry, pretty dry over here. There's a lot of structures these guys could be selling off to get some quick cash because we can see Camera Sizzle is stalled. He's got a lot of infrastructure, uh, which he just doesn't need, which he could just sell off. And same with... Uh, same with uh, Tipsy there. There's, there's quite a few structures and base defenses which are no longer necessary, which could be fueling the next attack. You've got to think about these things, especially in these long games here. But Death Sentence is not prepared to throw it in here, so he believes he can come back in this game. And maybe, just maybe, if he can take out this Behemoth Army, I mean, if the Behemoth Army goes down, there's nothing much left. I mean, there's a lot of Hammerheads, but they're not going to be able to shoot Storm Riders, not unless they garrison with rockets, and they're not. They don't even know about it. They do not know about the Storm Rider, the, the heavy Storm Rider transition. He's going to try to go in over here. He's calling an Icor Seed, so he's preparing for the long haul now. He doesn't have any upgrades on the double A, but the Storm Riders are coming in, and they're just like, hey, Hammerheads, this is a good way to rank up my guys. And he's just going to chase them back now, and these Hammerheads are like, oh, man, what is this? And they're getting chased right back to the base here. They're getting shot down as well. He doesn't go into the base. There's no power for these units as well. There's Venoms here, but there's too many Storm Riders. The Hexapod will get destroyed. No, he actually teleports away. Clutch teleport. And now he's got the Behemoth right where he needs him. He needs to focus them down. He's just scatter moving or scatter firing. And he should should just focus the Venoms down, I think. He does get one of these guys here. 
and he is going to move away. Temporal Wormhole goes down. This is going to slow the retreat of these uh, these uh, behemoths. He's trying to go around it, but that is pretty crazy. Battle Mark is over here, just uh, Death Sentence trying to leech there. It looks like uh, these guys have actually expanded down there. He will kill only one behemoth, unfortunately, but a lot of the Storm Riders are still intact. He's going to get another Harvester over here. That's good. So Death Sentence really doing what he needs to do to try to get in back into this game here. He's against two enemies, but he's, he's not in too bad a position right now. Uh, I mean, he, he hasn't lost the Hexapod. He is trying to focus down that power plant. He should be able to get it. No, not quite. Does leave it there. That Venom, no match for these guys here. They are pretty much flying tanks. We have Rifleman Squad over here trying to focus down a building, which they probably will be able to do pretty quickly. Not, so, not less a Buzzer Hive rocks out. It's actually a building there by Death Sentence. I'm not sure if that's been there the whole time or what, or maybe he had a Prodigy capture it. But yeah, a lot of, uh, lot of Venoms now coming out. A lot of Hammerheads still coming out here by Tipsy. But yeah, Chemist is and Tipsy looking pretty good. There's a small uh, group of units over here which will be trying to clean up the Rifleman squads. They will be able to do so. They won't be able to defeat that. Battle markers down here. Venoms are trying to destroy these Hammerheads. No, what am I saying? Trying to destroy these Harvesters there. The Marv is here. Still no garrisons in that Marv. And now these ven these uh, Venoms will be moving forward. There's almost enough Venoms to take on the Storm Riders. But they, uh, while they're drawing fire, they're going to move here. Firehawks are up here and I completely m messed up all my words here. And there's a pretty big air battle going on now. He will be shooting down quite a few Venoms and uh, before getting out of there. And he might actually be able to pull him in range of these infantry squads here. More kills. Oh, another kill. That's nice. Beacons over here. Looks like the Hexapod is trying to pull these guys off to the other side of the map. And Tipsy is going to lose his MCV if he's not careful. Uh, EMP Buggy is coming to save the day. Will they be able to get the EMP off? I think just in time. No, no, not just in time. He destroys it. Vertigo Bomb is coming in, and they'll probably splash down some of their own units here. No, they're actually hitting the back. That's nice. Uh, so, yeah, managing to lock this down. Death Sentence in a little bit of trouble now. He's surrounded by EMP buggies, and I think the Storm Riders might be wanting to respond to this. A lot of aircraft now just rocking up, and a uh, uh, phase goes off straight away. Doesn't want to have to deal with that. Uh, Storm Riders are over here. There's still a lot of Storm Riders, even though there's Firehawks around. Here come the Firehawks, and they're not afraid of these Storm Riders at all. The Storm Riders might be able to shoot some of them down. Oh, man, there's so much air over here as well. Uh, the Firehawks flying alongside them, which is not actually good. They've still got ammo before they back off, and it's going to be Storm Riders versus Venoms and Firehawks. Those Hammerheads getting out of there as well. And surprisingly, six, seven, eight, nine or so of those Storm Riders are still alive, and he's still building them. He's got five gravity stabilizers, so he, he truly believes this is going to be his way to, uh, to come back in this game. And surprisingly, Death Sentence has actually got a ground army here now. Disintegrators, infantry, and gunwalkers. Nothing super high-tech, but something that is capable of destroying this army here for sure because there's no anti-infantry except for the Redeemer which could be locked down by the Hexapod. The Hexapod is still alive. I'm not sure if he has a Prodigy. Uh, I don't think he does. He actually doesn't get the teleport, uh, sorry, the EMP off so he's still going to be okay. He misses the, tele the EMP. Ah, oh, I'm getting EMP and teleport confused. But he will be getting destroyed now. Vertigo Bombers coming to ensure that that Hexapod goes down and look at all of those Hammerheads all bunched up. Imagine that for an EMP. EMP strike. That would be pretty crazy there, but all the aircraft now flying off. There is so much aircraft now at this stage of the game. The Redeemer is over here. The Redeemer is over here. The Storm Riders are responding. Another Hexapod is on its way, I believe, and he will be trying to focus this down. I think he should just, yeah, just go for the, uh, just go for the, uh, what do you call it, Behemoth, but he's pushed back. The Firehawks don't give too much of a chase, but there is a pretty big army here now, and uh, Death Sentence is going to be coming in to face this one here. The Behemoth had the positioning. The Hammerheads are over the top. They don't even care about the Storm Riders. And they will be pushing them back. Firehawks now moving forward. There's a lot of double A here. Some of the Firehawks are getting shot down. And the Storm Riders are splitting very well. All the Firehawks just got in there and got destroyed. But meanwhile, this attack is still going on. Death Sentence putting up a hell of a fight here. But I think at the end of the day, there's just a little bit too much here for him. The Storm Riders are really all he has left. Tibcor is done from Kama Sizzler, uh, by the way. So he's going to be able to push these guys back. And the Ent Buggies as well have lasers. And more Firehawks flying in and out as well. So... Uh, this is truly going to be the end here for Death Sentence. It was a nice attempt, really, for him to stick around. And, uh, I mean, he almost came back as well. He had a few opportunities where he really had these guys in a lot of trouble. He gets three Behemoth, but he runs in there. And I think he's going to get sniped down. Yeah, the Hammerheads are just chasing. He shoots them all down, though. He shoots them all down. The EMP buggies are here. They cannot destroy. They cannot destroy. The Prodigy has just got too much healing, and he teleports away. He teleports away. The Redeemer there, that's actually uh, Tipsy's... Re no, not, not, uh, not Tipsy's. It's actually... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Camus Sizzler's Redeemer right in the middle of the base. The Prodigy is down. There are beacons everywhere. And now Death Sentence, aside from these Storm Riders, which for surprise, he still has about a dozen Storm Riders here. And he completely smashes those, ven those Venoms. They really weren't too much of a match for them. Hopefully he's, he's thinking maybe there aren't too many uh, Firehawks left. 
and more Venom's coming in now, and this fight, Death Sentence does not want to give up, does he? You've got to give props to him, man. He's really hanging in there, and the Storm Riders now pushing further and further back into the base, and what an epic last stand here. And uh, sometimes it's just fun just to fight the last stand, just to see how much damage you can do as a challenge. Uh, I've done it quite a few times as well. And you never know, a lot of Behemoth falling down. Actually, all the Behemoth now are, have been destroyed, so well done to Death Sentence there to destroy everything. There's just the epic units remaining now. Uh, that Venom's like, yep, nope, see you later. He's going to be able to get that. And there's still, surprisingly, he's done a, a, a fantastic job of keeping these Storm Riders alive. I'm not sure if he's just rebuilding lots of them. He's probably trying to grab these uh, these husks. But no, there is an MCV here. Tipsy is here. He's putting down double A turrets. He's like, hey, screw this. I'm putting down double A turrets. And he's recovering the husks. And the Storm Riders now are finally falling to the, that level of numbers where they're no longer effective. And he's going to try to clutch. No, he can't say it. He tries to get an engineer into the drone platform did not happen, it got sniped, and uh, he's going to lose power momentarily as well, which means no more double A for Death Sentence. It's not terribly important, considering that he's pretty much wiped the skies right now, but he is really hanging on, and this game got even hotter than I, I thought it for sure uh, it was going to be a tap out, but no, fights it out, and there we go, Death Sentence does go down, so what a crazy game. That was a pretty long game as well, it, did, it didn't feel that long, but now that I think about it, uh, we're looking at a 40 minute 2v2 game there, so well done by all of those players. That was definitely a really good game. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. I'm just refilling my drink. <laughs> it's, uh, it's still pretty hot here, you guys. But yeah, 40 minutes that game there. Chemist Sizzler and, uh, of course, Tipsy will emerge victorious. Death Sentence and Supernova did a great job, though. Uh, if we have a look around at the the, uh, the economy, Chemist Sizzler got 320 or 320,000. 310 for Death, so he got about the same. Supernova got 226, so a lot less, but he tapped out of the game, of course, at some point. And uh, Tipsy got 255,000. So uh, there you go. Uh, obviously, uh, Team 1 favorite unit. Or Team 1 got 575,000. Yeah, 575,000 to 535,000. So uh, Tipsy and Camus are getting more money there uh, in the long run. But uh, again, great game by all these players here. We can see there the resources graph. But uh, that was pretty stunning by these guys here. Really enjoyed watching that game. Uh, I could sit and talk about stats for a long time about that game, but I mean, at the end of it, it's already a long video. So I hope you guys enjoyed that game. Again, great game by those players. They all must be proud of that game. It was awesome to watch. Must have been awesome to play. Uh, head on over and don't forget to wub that replay. But I'm Green Zero. Stay tuned to my channel, and I'll see you all next time.